Hello, everyone, and welcome to Digitally. We're here back with Tom Davenport, and some of you who joined us last in, uh, in the last time we spoke with Tom will remember that Tom is the President's Distinguished Professor in Information Technology and Management at the Babson College. He's a fellow of the MIT Initiative on the Digital Economy and is a visiting professor at the Said Business School at Oxford. And it's a real pleasure to have Tom back today because I wanna to touch on something that I know is of growing importance for large corporations, and that's data and the role of the Chief Data Officer. But before we do all of that, Tom, welcome and thanks for joining. Great to be back. Thanks, Andre. Awesome, Tom. So Tom, you know, you and I have been talking a little bit about chief data officers and it's this new role that's coming through uh, in large corporations. We're trying to see a lot of that. And so first things first, just to level set, what is a chief data officer? Well, that's not a terribly easy question to answer because we find different expectations of the role in different organizations. It started out as being everything data, including security and uh, preventing hacks and breaches and, and so on, plus um, uh, architecting data, getting people to use it more effectively, et cetera. Um, much of the security role has moved away into CISOs, Chief Information Security Officers. Um, and many Chief Data Officers now are also responsible for analytics. And we see this Chief Data and Analytics Officer, which I think is a, a good move. but. Um, Architecting the perfect data environment turns out to be a really tough thing and hard for people in the role to show value. So that I think is kind of fading a bit as a, as a responsibility of the role. Yeah, and I wanna to come to that in a minute about why is that role so difficult? But before we go there, uh, and, and Tom, you spend so much of your time with large enterprises and studying technology and data trends. I mean, it is true that we're starting to see a lot more chief data officers out there, and it's a, it's a new and a growing. Yeah, about um, in some of the surveys that I've been involved in, about 65% of large organizations have them started in financial services, but now fair number in um, consumer products companies and healthcare and, you know, any data intensive industry, I think it's got to be interested in a role that can help you manage data more effectively. And Tom, the reality is, if you aren't already a company in a data intensive industry, you're about to be in that space, right? I mean, this is pervasive. It's coming to all of us. Right, so I guess we would expect that the role would continue to um, increase in popularity, at least if its incumbents do a good job. Yeah. And, and so that also brings the topic of why now? I mean, data has been around for a long time, but isn't it the fact that we've now found the capabilities to, to, uh, to light up dark data, to be able to extract it and use it in a meaningful fashion? Is that driving the new focus on data officers? What's your take on that? I think that's a part of it, the fact that there's so much interest in analytics and AI that to you know, make sense of the data. And uh, in the past, we focused mostly on that kind of the collection and organizing of data, but now the consumption of it is just as important. In fact, one could argue it's the most important aspect of the kind of data supply chain. So that could well be driving the, the number of these jobs that are, are getting created. One of the big, and just as an aside, uh, Tom, I don't think I mentioned this to you, one of the biggest things we're learning as we're working across large corporations and helping them through digital transformation is that the very design principle around data has gone from an ingestion centric model and to use what you were saying to a consumption centric model. And that the design philosophy and the way you actually ingest and aggregate and normalize and harmonize data is very much focused on a consumption mindset. And I think that's a large change and a change for the better, don't you? Uh, it's um, not terribly useful to have data that nobody can access or use. So I would definitely agree with you there. Okay, so that brings us to actually the thing I wanted to um, unpeel and tease out a little bit. Um, and you'd made a comment to me in one of our previous discussions around how tenuous the role of the CDO actually is. And you talked, I can't remember the statistics, but you talked about the amount of turnover and churn that's going on. So first off, level set for us. First off, is this, is this a tough role? Is it a tenuous role? Are there a lot of successful uh, examples out there? And what's actually going on in the industry with CDOs right now, chief data officers right now? Well, Sanjay, it seems to be one of the shorter tenure C-level roles that, that there um, 
are out there. It's about 2.4 years on average, according to some analysis that um, an executive search uh, person and I have done. And a Gartner study came up with a similar kind of number of survey. And so um, uh, it turns over rapidly. Um, a large number of companies, this is not a problem of the last 10 years, this is a problem of today. A large number of really big companies have, have turned over their chief data officer. It's just too hard to show value, I think. Um, people don't really understand what, what the benefits are. They come in with a lot of promise and fanfare and they go out pretty quickly. Fortunately for them, there's a pretty good market for cheap data officers, so somebody else snaps them up. But well, you said a lot in there, my God, like, I mean, if I am in the digital business and I'm looking for career projection, uh, progression, you know, I hear something like two and a, two and a, two and a half years, 2.4, 2.2 years and four months, whatever turnover. Um, that's a, I don't know if that's where I want to be. And, and, and yet it is the corner store of the opportunity out there. It is the fundamental driver of transformative value. It is the thing that's going to differentiate the companies that succeed from the companies that, aren't, that won't. And so what is it in that role? I mean, it's data and it's technology, right? But it's more. What is it in that role that is making it so difficult to get done? Well, I think there, the expectations are often too great. There are um, some organizations that want their chief data officers to architect data effectively. Some are more focused on analytics. Some are more focused on monetization, which is getting harder and harder these days. I think as consumers become aware of the value of their data. Some are focused on ethics. Some are focused on security. It just... Um, in many cases, it's not clearly articulated what the expectations of the job are when a new incumbent comes in. So that makes it, I think, very difficult to satisfy all those expectations. Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, look, well, I mean, as technologists, we've seen this in all our careers, scope, scope, scope management, scope creep, expectation management is key and getting on the same page with the rest of the corporation and what this role will do is about the first thing I would do if I were to step into a chief data officer role. Is there more though? Is, 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 you know, in the early days of chief data digital officers, I saw this as well, which is part of the job is to get the digital done, the technology done, the implement the data lake and get the stack stood up and you know, bring in these algorithms and, and stand up these new SaaS applications. But half or more of the role was actually transformation and that was change management and, and championing for sort of the new reimagined self of who you are. Is the chief data officer going to the same dynamic? And is that part of the reason why we're seeing so much churn? I think so. In fact, um, I interviewed a chief data officer in, in a big company in Europe, and he said, you know, I'm going to fail in my job, or I fear I'm going to fail because I'm expected not only to um, redo the technology infrastructure for data, but also to bring about all sorts of organizational change. And he said, you know, I'm a I'm a technologist. I don't have a background in those sorts of issues, and I really don't know how to make it happen. And I think a lot of people are probably in that position. Yeah. So it sounds like, you know, the chief data officer role is a little bit of a chief business transformation officer role in the back of data. And, 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 it, and it's just, it's abbre abbreviated as chief data officer, but it's really chief business transformation officer on the back of data, if, if I could put that into one phrase. And realizing that and coming into the role with that mindset is almost as key as bringing the right data and the technology understanding to get the job done. And it feels like that's a big part of being successful. I think that's right. I mean, um, uh, as a part of this research, I talked to Guy Perry, who has one of the longest tenures of any chief data officer. He's been at, in the role at Procter & Gamble for over six years and been at the company for over 25 years. And he said, you know, really what he thinks has made him successful in the job is he's trying to create business transformation with data. He finds some people who are supportive of that idea on the business side. They develop some um, tools and applications. He's a chief data and analytics officer. And I think that helps a lot just because you can show value much more easily with analytics and AI than with data management. So um, I think being business oriented and emphasizing what you do with data to create value is, is really the key. I loved uh, the conversation so far. I think what I'm walking away um, on this, Tom, is, you know, first off, there's this whole emergence of data as a category to define transformation. 
and therefore the role of chief data officer is becoming more and more prevalent. I think you said about 65% of large corporations uh, are either there or headed there, which is, a, which is a pretty large number. I also think you said that, listen, uh, it's happening now because data is becoming more pervasive, more available, it's understood better, and the tools and the technologies and the capabilities to unleash the value of that are coming together in a way that we can actually use them. And therefore the timing is right and the opportunity is now. You also said, look, the CDO role is a, is a tenuous role and you cited, you know, you cited for instance, churn rates in the industry, which, uh, which were alarming at least uh, at first glance. But I think you pointed out that actually the role is more than just the technology or the data piece of the role. It's about change management and business transformation. And, and I think the key to success in a role like that is approaching it as a chief transformation officer for the company that happens to be able to use data and is very conversant in using data to get that done. And, and I thought that was a really interesting way to think about that. Anything you'd wanna to add to that, uh, Tom? Just that it's, it's um, somewhat reminiscent of what we found out about um, CIOs in that, in that study that we recently did that you know, just um, managing the technology is not enough to be successful in the, in the current environment. You've got to change the business too. Great words of wisdom from someone who is very close to this topic, works very closely with both academia and with enterprise across the globe. Tom, we're so thankful for your time today. Thank you for joining. And to my audience, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.